Hello everybody, how you all doing? Welcome to the second video of Friday. There's going to be a third one like this is similar and it's going to go over the two trials that you can do. So Trial of Fierce and some of the best champions in order to take it down. It's always like a little bit fun when Kabam out some of this content because you're like, okay, well which is going to be your regular team and I'm going to start creating a spreadsheet which is like the best team. So um, I look forward to kind of like a, a spreadsheet coming soon that's like the best team for the um, to take on the various different types of side quests on a daily basis. So this particular video is all about the best teams for the the Trial of the Fierce, which is the Black Panther one. So you can see right here, I just finished it off and I uh, wanted to kind of go back into it and also look at some of the best champions for it. Now, uh, I can't go down the route, but the opponents, which um, that's changed... Like, the, that Black Widow clairvoyant was was a Jabari Panther uh, not too long ago when I faced off against it. So it could be different for whatever people pick up. So the nodes that are on this, and I'll be putting footage over the top of, like, cool champions like I kind of, like, played about with, or, or champions I wanted to test about, or good champions to take on some of the fights. So we've got a critical setup, which is when the attacker ends a combo with the same attack, they end their previous combo um, with the attack is guaranteed critical hit. To be honest, I didn't really care too much about that because there's better champions to focus on that definitely get that kind of like nice amount of kind of like build of critical uh, damage or critical ability, critical rate and all that stuff. Because it, the, the champions, the three you face off against, is the defender takes 100% less damage from hits that are not critical. Uh, so that's the thing as well, like you've got to do crits to do damage. Now there are some really fun champions. Some of the ones that I've got on the left hand corner are really good. I like pairing Falcon with Black pa Black Widow Clairvoyant, a uh, Black Widow Deadly Origin. Uh, those two together are a fantastic firecracker of a pairing. And Falcon, even though has uh, locked on and does some crits, the accompanying synergy massively helps out that kind of interaction. Also with Widow's Insight, which we're going to talk about in a second. Corvus Glaive is actually not too bad for this. I When I went on this route and went up against Black Panther, as the champion used a hashtag Avenger, it meant that I was able to get a mission and that helped out with going into... If I wanted to do the second fight, I didn't end up using it in the end, but the second fight was featuring a champion, uh, Black Black Widow OG. So she, if she was to evade and I do a parry heavy, I would get the evade charge. So that's two charges, meaning that when I go into the final fight, boom, big smack of damage. So there's lots of different um, options and fun that could be uh, seen for you. I, I haven't tried using Archangel, but that could be a good option to, uh, to kind of do neurotoxins. I can't remember if I was doing any kind of like, if it worked or not, but I'm kind of like working towards critical based champions. you got uh, Mole Man and you've got Cosmic Ghost Rider. Now, I did a pause there and I was thinking to myself like, yeah, that's right, there's those. Cosmic Ghost Rider, all of which have like decent critical damage. And let's face it, look, for most people kind of watching this, if you are a Thronebreaker upwards player that have got some of these champions you already know like, you know, what slaps for you, what doesn't. But for those interested in what a good team is, that could be a good team of critical based champions to then take on this particular difficulty. There's also uh, some information on a site which I put a link in the description, which is champions that gain uh, cruelty. Well, crit rate champions are usually quite good as well, but there's ones here that are kind of like of um, use and handiness to consider. Now, we've talked about some of them, like Cosmic Ghost Rider is good. We've got Ghost. Ghost is great for this as well, especially if she's looking to pick up any kind of like, uh, you know, debuffs of any kind, which she kind of isn't. But, uh, you know, still an option there because we all know what she's going to do. She's going to do a great amount of uh, critical damage. Then you've got Aegon, which is, uh, what is it? Critical hits have a 40% chance to shrug off one debuff, but critical damage rating is increased, so that's good. And I do know from time to time you do get some criticals off of uh, Aegon. And I'm sure there's something else on there. But I think everybody knows that champion and how it kind of gains some stuff. What else? So Falcon scanning system in the goggles, blah, 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 blah. Uh, passive evade, increasing Falcon's critical damage rating. We all know, um, you know, NX until it's critical hits. We all know that. Critical damage rating as well. With that, SP2 of Hitmonkey. Yeah, lots of these champions will build a nice amount of critical damage or critical rate. Critical rate is equally as important. 
I would say as well, I'm, I'm quite interested to try the likes of Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch OG has a good kind of like RNG for uh, crits being very important in her makeup and style of what she gains back uh, from it. But yeah, that's something to kind of like point out as well. There, there are loads. There's loads of champions that do a great amount of uh, critical damage. Even, even like I could say, like even, even Hercules. So yeah, there's there's ones that do the cruelty damage, but also there's ones that do critical rate. Critical rate increases the chances of you doing criticals, and some of these kind of god tail, kind of amazing champions and good champions as well can be viable options for taking on the path. But in any case, that has been my ideal team on the left hand side. Gotta love a bit of Falcon, gotta love a bit of Corvus Glaive, gotta love a bit of Black Widow, Deadly Origin, Cosmic Ghost Rider, and Mole Man. Lots of fun, uh, but yeah, that's that, and I'll uh, look to create that spreadsheet very, very soon. Probably early next week, I'll create something once I've done all of them, and also kind of create a long list of champions for it. I don't know if people are going to need it, but I just thought it's nice to kind of like share some stuff on these side quests before I move my content to be more focused on next week on uh, Karina's challenges, Act 7.4 stuff, and then uh, yeah, some other kind of like opinion pieces and thought processes. So yeah, um. That's been that. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure as well to check out some other content which will be located on screen right now. I'm going to be going off at some point to watch the new Dodd the Strange film which I'm really excited about seeing. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll be talking about that uh, late next week in a podcast. Cheers everybody. See you in the next video. Bye bye.